Hey, well, the shares just turned positive in part coming off of the conference call, which had some fairly optimistic comments in terms of the Q1 outlook. When you look at the first quarter for Alaska Airlines, yeah, they reported a narrower than expected loss for the fourth quarter. But like all the airlines, it's not about the fourth quarter. It's about the outlook. Capacity will be down 30 percent in the first quarter. Its Q1 revenue is expected to be down anywhere between 60 and 65 percent, roughly in line with analyst expectation. And its January cash burn will come in somewhere between 100 and $125 million. Let's bring in Brad Tilden, CEO of Alaska Airlines, joining us from Seattle. All right, Brad, when you look at the first quarter, I, I mentioned the conference call because I noticed uh, there was some optimism in there, especially when you look at advanced bookings. Tell me what you're expecting in terms of bringing down that cash burn to where you're cash flow positive. Yeah, um, thanks, Phil. Good morning. Uh, we're happy to be here. I think what Alaska is seeing, and I think other airlines are seeing this as well, but I think bookings for the month of January, for the last couple of months, with this third wave of coronavirus, have sort of, or not bookings, but employments, have sort of been flat. There's not, I think COVID has sort of kept people from coming to the airplane. But as we look forward, there is clearly uh, people looking ahead. They're looking to the uh, rollout of the vaccine, and they're feeling, they're seeing more optimism. Our bookings for future travel are in the neighborhood of, 60 to 70,000 bookings a day. That's what we've seen for the last several weeks versus current employments of about 40,000 people per day. So I think there is um, there are signs of, of, of brighter skies ahead. Brad, you know what this brings up? I've heard from a number of friends and family members who have said, you know, I'm thinking about booking a trip maybe in June, maybe in springtime, uh, but I am yeah. going to start booking a trip. What's going to happen with airfares? How much do you expect them to rise? Because there is an expectation that's been put out there uh, by the website Hopper and others that we will see an increase in airfares, let's say, over the next couple of months. Yeah, I think, uh, I think different airlines might respond to this differently. But at Alaska, our mentality has always been that the first thing you do, need to do is sort of stimulate demand, get demand. We think what you're saying, Phil, is right. People do feel cooped up. They've been held in their homes or their communities for 12 months out, 12 months now, they do want to get out and see uh, other parts of the country or visit fams and uh, uh, friends and family. So we, what we will be doing is trying to stimulate demand. Our mentality will be first keep the low fares out there to fill the airplanes. And as the airplanes begin to fill, and I think this isn't the next two, three months. This is really more the latter part of uh, 2021. I think you may see pricing return to normal. I don't, I don't think... Um, I, we're, nobody's thinking of sort of a different pricing environment than that right now. But I, I think uh, you will see some fares and some promotional activity, probably some lower fares in the next several months. Uh, and then as airplanes uh, fill, and we'll all see when that happens, as airplanes get more full, you'll see fares maybe return to more normal levels. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.